Hi everyone, welcome to the Houseman channel again. My channel is to, to introduce many DIY little projects that you are interested in, or I find it very useful. Sometimes I fix the, the thing at home, and at the same time I um, will film it to show you. Or just like this time, I will have this little module to show you uh, how it works for the basic electronic project. Please stay to, in this channel and watch to the end. Uh, before I start, uh, may I ask you to subscribe my channel and like and share and have some any comments below you can ask or you can want to discuss to uh, support my channel because I found that the rate of growth of the subscriber is very slow now and I try to introduce more projects and more video um, to the people who are interested in it. Let's talk about this little module in my hand, which is a DC to DC step up module. They call it MT360A, or you can call it 360A. DC to DC step up, micro USB DC module regulator for booting, uh, boosting up the, the power. The input voltage of this one is 2 volt to 24 DC, and output is the from 5 volt to 28 volt. That means you can uh, put 2 volt and uh, step up to 28. It's uh, having the um, maximum range. Or you can have the maximum 24 volt input and boost up to 28. Or any voltage you like. If you want 12 volt input and uh, step up to 15, um, that is uh, also doable. Of course, when you're using this, the more voltage you're boosting up, the more workload on this thing, and I will have more heat, and um, it will um, not that, that efficient. The official efficiency um, state is 93%, so it's pretty good. And um, before you use it, it recommends you to turn this, the blue thing, which is the uh, potential divider. If you can see this, the sign at the bottom of this uh, blue square, it shows the numbers. Uh, it shows a uh, potential divider symbol. On the um, left hand side is input. You can use the micro USB input, or you can just use input voltage by having these two pins. It is very easy to use, and then this is very safe and. Uh, it is um, had a wide range of the step up voltage. Actually, can have 8.5, 8.7, or 12.3, whatever you want for your uh, uh, electronic device or any project you want to do. I get this um, battery, which is a one a six five zero type, uh, three point seven to four point two volt maximum. I fully charge it now. It's showing four point one five volt. I'm going to uh, using this to power this motor which is I uh, got it from a uh, used a camera let's connect it you can hear the sound and feel the gear is turning now it's a uh, 4.12 volt so now let's use this type of module and as it stay in this bed, before you use it, you'd have to turn this adjustment knob fully clockwise. 15 laps, which to make sure that uh, it goes to the maximum output, 28 volt. And now you can adjust what you want. Let me adjust it to 6 volt. Now I turn anti clockwise. You can see now it's 25.8 volt. Let's turn it to 6 to just buy my motor. So now 6.04 volt and let's connect the motor see how powerful it is. Um, this motor um, I believe that it may momentarily go to 2M or uh, as, at least to get uh, 2M when it started but uh, this is running for a short time. I'm show this video I'm sure this one will, will not be really affected. Let's connect this motor again to this negative wire. 
You notice that the sound is um, sounds more powerful, and uh, and this one the the gears will take faster. And once you connect it, it drops from 6.04 I think now to 5.8 volt. And the module itself still not getting very hot. That's good. Okay. So let's uh, do another experiment. The next thing I'm going to use this module to do is to charge this power bank. This power bank consists of six battery, which I did it for the DIY from the, um, the laptop battery. It looks messy, but uh, actually I do it very carefully and it is safe. And the way you see this power bank input voltage is 16 to 21 volt. 1.5 amp minimum. With this, I draw this. Is the normal configuration of the plug-in uh, wire. In the center is positive, and the output USB 5 volt and all other voltage in different rating. I got this adapter. The output voltage is 12 volt, 5 amp, which is good, a big one, but the output voltage is way below. The required eight, uh, 16 to 21 volt. What I'm going to do is to step up this 12 DC to 18 volt using this step up DC to DC module to charge this power bank. Even this 12 volt power adapter can still charge my power bank, but it won't get fully charged because input voltage is only 12 and uh, the required voltage from this one is at least 16 to 21 so I need to step this up in order to fully charge my power bank. The setup is like this this is the input 12 volt from the adapter and the input to this module the output is the measuring by this multimeters so now I just it to 18 volts turning it in a clockwise direction I overturn it alright now it's 18.5 okay I've got 18.15 18.2, I think it's close enough. So it is a 12 up boosting to 18. Now I charge this power bank. When I start, it already give me 12.3 volt on the indication, which is the uh, voltage on this power bank, not the input. We are inputting 18, but it's showing the uh, voltage of this power bank, which is the, I want. 12.6 is the maximum. Now it's going 12.4 very quickly. And you can see the voltage here is dropped as the, we have done for the motor before from 18.2 to 17.85 because of the loading. It's been a charter for about 10 minutes and I decided to push up the voltage to 20 volt. And the voltage is slowly coming up from 12. Point 2 to 3 to 4 now it's pretty stable because uh, when the battery is almost fully charged the voltage is going up uh, slower this is rational making sense and um, the one thing you have to notice is the heat uh, maximum current is 2 amp I believe this one initially uh, maybe about 1 point something ampere because they're charging the lithium battery, the controller control it below 2 amp usually for conventional one, except it's a fast charger now available in many iPhones or the phones and uh, below 2 amp this is good I think it's designed for small project but it consumes quite lots of energy as well so uh, this one the heat uh, may build up it's become hot now so when you use this module for your project or for some high power consuming product you may put a heat sink or a fan, small fan to have it uh, cooling down on a very good ventilation to make this last longer. Uh, the last thing I want to push this little module to the limit is to use this one to power up my laptop. The laptop is made by HP or the uh, original battery supply the adapter says 18.5 volt here and it's 3.5 amp output as I said uh, this little module can only support 2 amp so I reckon 
this may be or may not be successfully uh, power up this machine even it can power up if the current is uh, below that and I recommend it if you do it you have to fully understand your laptop the power consume consumption and also the uh, ability of this module and even I think uh, it could power my laptop it doesn't last long because uh, the uh, the consumption of the power I have to uh, use that original input which is uh, 12 volt as I used as two examples before and uh, using that I adjust it to 18.65 which is very close to the adapter 18.5 so uh, also on the other end I've used this adapter to supply this laptop so see how it goes let me turn it on the voltage is uh, fluctuating a little bit because of the consumption of the power and this one is uh, supplying that now it turns on uh, successfully, it's at the battery power level, which is the internal battery of this computer is because it's very old, the internal uh, rechargeable battery is not uh, good enough. And see the power drops to 15, 16, I think it's not very stable, but it's still booting up because um, on a computer like this, you have the input range of the tolerance to set the voltage plus or minus the laptop still uh, be working so we start the window successfully and uh, it looks very good uh, sometimes it come back to 18 volts so um, it depends on the uh, power using by the computer so it's boot up successfully it's very good and uh, only use this little one but actually it's very hot on my hand now it's hot I don't have the phenometer but I can tell you this the hottest I've ever got than uh, charging the power bank so uh, thanks for watching this video hope you like it and you can uh, buy this one on the Amazon or online with the whole batch of it and you can use it for your small project or even when your power supply for laptop is not working you can um, use this one but I recommend use the higher power consumption one to make this more stable I can use this for a vari variation of voltage to support many projects that you want from 5 volt to 28. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like it, please subscribe and share. Put some comment below and um, come back to my houseman video um, on my later video. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.